Hi guys. <clears throat> it is 1 55 a.m. Um, in Hawaii. Okay. It's been a while since I've made a video. A video. Video. So. I guess I'm gonna make a video about something that I don't like again. I think I'm gonna do a video on text massaging. I like filming with the Mac because you can see how weird you look or how fantastical your hair is looking. I don't really, ugh, my hair is still retarded to me. I'm still playing with it. Obviously, if you guys don't have me on Facebook or Tumblr, I cut my hair a lot. No, I just cut my bangs. But tomorrow or this week sometime, I'm going to go in to get my hair highlighted blue. Like I had it before. <laughs> Another thing about this video, my chair is squeaking like crazy. So if you hear random squeaking, no one's doing the dance. It's just my chair. Okay. Number one. Number one, number one, number one, number one, number one, number one, number one is when someone doesn't have to be a boyfriend, it can be about your best friend, your mom, your co workers, anybody. <clears throat> when they text you forever from the time that you texted them. Like, you can ask them a simple question, like, are you working today? And they'll text you back three hours into your shift. No. Hey, nigga, I know that now. I know that now. Or it could be, I don't know, it could just be anything. It could be a simple thing. Hey. Three hours later. Hey. With a period. If I had a smiley face, okay, I'll reply. But if it doesn't, oh, no, no, no. It's, it's okay. It's done. I don't want to talk anymore. Mm. Um, another pet peeve I have is, okay. This has to do with the relationships. <laughs> it could be either your new friend or a guy you're talking to or a girl you're talking to or whatever. Okay, so you know when you first get to know them, when they first get your number, they're texting you, texting you, texting you, texting you, all happy. Hey, smiley face, what's up? Beautiful. <laughs> um, texting you sentences, paragraphs, sending you stupid random stuff. Like you're at work and then you just like, you were just texting them, but I guess like something went, they went to go do something or something and they just text you randomly, random text messages. And then when you get to get to know them more, get to get to know them more, well, well, if you get to know them more, they get more comfortable and they just start sending you the one word text messages or they take again, long to reply to you or they just don't seem really interested in what you're saying anymore that makes me so sad it's like why can't you just be happy to talk to me like how you were when you first asked for my number what did i do nothing okay another thing i'm just doing this off the top of my head another thing that's irritating is when people get all like sexual in their text messaging like i get it you're in the mood there is a few websites that could take care of that for you not me Another irritating thing. <laughs> this is gonna make some of my friends laugh, I think. Okay, so if you're texting somebody and you are you are busy, you're we have working things to do, we have school, we're studying, we're babysitting, we're doing many things. And if I don't reply in the next two minutes, I'm sorry, I'm doing something. And then they just text you question mark, hello? Um, am I bothering you? Hold on, nigga, I'm getting to you. I'm in the shower. What do you want me to do? Put my phone in a Ziploc bag? <laughs> hmm. Another pet peeve that I have is when people text you, like a guy or I guess the opposite sex, it's more irritating. <sighs> like, let's say you guys have a thing. Maybe you guys don't have a thing. But if a guy like texts you at like 3 a.m., like what do you want at 3 a.m.? 
you could have texted me at 2 p.m. It's more normal. At least if we were talking throughout the day, that's fine. But if you're just randomly texting me at 3, you want something and you're not getting it. <laughs> Sorry. Another thing that's irritating, and I'm losing ideas of things that I don't like, even though there, I feel like there's so many other things. Okay. Oh, when someone text messages you, but they only message you when they want something. Like, oh, do you think you can give me a ride? Do you think you can pick me up? Do you think I can borrow your sweater or something like that? Like, why are you texting me only if you want something? You are mean. Another thing that irritates me is when, um, again, people give you only one word answers. Like, you can be texting them a whole chapter book of things, of just a conversation. Like, they might have asked you what you're doing. And you can be like, oh, I went scuba diving today. I seen a shark. The shark seen me. I almost died. And they'll be like, cool. Or LOL. LOL, K, and... LOL, K, and I know there's more, but LOL and K, number two. If you want to get shanked, those are the two things to say after a long text message. I think everyone feels that way. Like, this is like a mutual, surround you international feeling. If you text someone a paragraph and you get a one word <clears throat> reply, you need to sleep with your door locked. Because you will be shanked. Okay, those are just some of the things that irked me in text message life. Thanks for watching. Sorry if it wasn't that entertaining. It's one, oh, 209 now. <laughs> no life, bye.